Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What are the eligibility requirements for food stamps in Florida? To qualify for food stamps in Florida, also known as the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, SNAP, several eligibility rules must be met. Identity. Applicants must provide proof of their identity. This is a fundamental requirement to ensure the applicant is who they claim to be. Work rules. Healthy adults aged 18 to 50 who do not have dependent children and are not pregnant can only receive SNAP benefits for three months in a three-year period unless they are working or participating in a work or work training program. They must register for work, accept suitable work offers, and participate in employment and training programs if referred by the SNAP office. Income. Most households must have a gross income less than or equal to 200% of the federal poverty level, FPL. Deductions can be made for certain expenses like shelter, dependent care, medical expenses, child support, and utilities to determine the net income. Residency. Individuals must be residents of Florida. This means they must live in the state and intend to stay there. Citizenship. Applicants must be U.S. citizens or have a qualified non-citizen status. Even if some household members are not eligible, those who are may still receive benefits. Social Security Number Everyone in the household must have or apply for a Social Security Number. If a household member does not have a Social Security Number, they can choose not to apply for benefits, but their income and resources will still be counted for the remaining household members. Child Support Cooperation Certain individuals must cooperate with the state's Child Support Enforcement Agency to prove a child's legal relationship to their parent and to get the court to order child support payments. Assets. Most households can have assets like vehicles, bank accounts, or property and still receive help. However, households with a disqualified member must meet an asset limit of $2,500. $3,750 if the household contains an elderly or disabled member. Reporting changes. Households must report changes in their circumstances, such as when their total monthly gross income exceeds 130% of the FPL, or when work hours of able-bodied adults fall below 80 hours per month. These changes must be reported within 10 days after the end of the month of the change. Ineligibility. Certain individuals are ineligible for SNAP benefits, including those convicted of drug trafficking, fleeing a felony warrant, breaking SNAP program rules, non-citizens without a qualified status, and students attending an institution of higher education at least half-time in some circumstances. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.